Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Welcome back to Climate Conversations. Today we're talking with William Kay, researcher, writer, and the man behind the blog known as Ecofascism. Mr. Kay recently contributed a new report entitled Post Paris, Climate Talks and Geopolitics that takes a geopolitical view of what's driving the push for renewables in fossil fuel rich Western Canada and the world. William, welcome. Explain your geopolitical climate change perspective to us. Uh, one way is to view it as a struggle between those areas of the world which are well endowed with fossil fuels and those areas of the world which are not. So you say it stems from Europe? The climate change campaign is primarily at home in Europe. You have countries like Germany and Denmark and Italy and Spain and France. They have a motto in France, we have no oil, we have ideas. Uh, but that sort of thinking is right across Europe. They don't have any oil. So the fact that they have no oil, what does that do to Europe? My most recent posting, I was quoting a lot of the facts from the IEA. And they're estimating that last year on record that Europe imported almost $600 billion worth of fossil fuels. Wow, $600 billion. And that is a huge drain on their economy. They're hemorrhaging cash and that cash is going to their economic rivals. It is going to Russia, the Middle East, North America. These are the countries they are competing with for investment, for, for manufactured goods, what have you. Uh, so they have to do something. So they're locked into a system. If the world continues on business as usual, Europe is pretty much doomed. They're going to be a high energy part of the world and part of the world that is importing huge volumes of energy from other countries. So the long-range perspective for uh, Europe is really grim if we remain in a, in a, a petroleum-driven, coal-driven world. They, you know, these are asset resources which they have almost none. Well, thank you, William. I'm sure very few people have thought of the climate change movement from the perspective of, well, a geopolitical trade war. Read Post Paris and see what you think of these insights. We'll talk more with William Kay on future climate conversations. Join us. For Friends of Science, I'm Michelle Sterling.